Boy, oh boy, I truly do have a love-hate relationship with Advanced Warfare. But before I get into my spill with that, guys, I want to quickly introduce the gameplays that you're about to watch. Uh, I told you guys I was going to give you guys some HBR Insanity gameplay, so that's what you're going to be watching. This is HBR Insanity gameplay on the maps Instinct, and the second one, if I'm not mistaken, is on Riot. Yeah, it is on Riot. So stay tuned for that, and I'll get into the gameplay commentary that I want to get into today. And that is Advanced Warfare itself, which I just kind of want to go over a little bit. I know that I made some previous comments before in some other older videos when Call of Duty Ghost was out. The Call of Duty Ghost was my least favorite COD title to date. Well, I think Advanced Warfare has taken that trophy from Ghost. And you know the thing about it is, let me clear this up before I go any further. I never thought Ghost was a bad game. I know a lot of people out there hate Ghost. A lot of people griped about Ghost. Oh, it was boring. It was this. It was that. I did not mind Ghost. I thought Ghost, to me, uh, had the best hit detection, hands down, of any COD title to date. When you shot someone, man, they were dead. You know, there was no question about it. You could, and every gun was usable. You could go walk around the map and just hit fire all day if you wanted to and get kills. It, it was Black Ops 2, if I'm not mistaken, that was a lot like this. You know, you would shoot someone, expel half a clip into someone and all of a sudden they would turn around be completely fine and burst you with one burst of anything that they're using couple shots and you hit the ground dead and I think that's my major gripe about this game I know a lot of people say that's because of skill based matchmaking that's the reason that you know you shoot first and die first and there's this lag and that may be true I'm not a techie I don't know to be honest with you guys but this game right now does feel like there's just those days where no matter what you do, what perks you run, what gun you use, you're going to get outshot every single time. And those days happen. And on those days, I usually just step away and I'll go ahead and play it another day. You know, I'm just like, okay, I'm going to step away from this game for today. Uh, for some reason, I just can't kill anybody. But, you know, as much as I have issues with this game, for some reason, I find myself enjoying myself most of the times when I play it. It's weird because I, I, I want to get better, you know. I, I want to push myself to master my exo abilities even better. I, again, I'm an above average player. I'm definitely no scumpy. I'm no nade shot. But I, I am a good, competent player. I was used to winning a lot. I was part of a clan. We played together as a team since Black Ops 2 into Ghost. And we just always were used to winning. So now this has been a very humbling experience for me, to say the least, to go out there and try to lone wolf all the time and carry teams. And I am doing well. You know, there's there's a lot of games that I do really well, but I still lose because of the teammates that they give me. It, it's just, hey, I deal with it. You know, I shrug it off. It's just a video game in the end. You know, I don't bend myself up about losing or not doing the way I wanted, you know, how, how well I'm expected to do or my expectations of myself. I just go out there and have fun, man. And I think that's a, a big element I think a lot of YouTubers out there that complain about the game have forgot about. And they say they don't have fun playing it. Well, I guess that must mean that they have certain expectations of themselves where they always have to win or something like that. I don't know. They always have to do 30, 40 bombs and carry the team to victory. And if that's not the case, then the game sucks. But me personally... You know, I, I don't mind the game. Yeah, there's a lot of issues with the hit detection, the lag, and all that stuff. But again, I still have an, a good time playing it. I don't know, it's weird. It's, like I said, it's a love-hate relationship. There's days I really don't mind, and I love the game. And then there's days I just really can't, you know, get my hand around, or my head around what it is about this game, that I, why I still play it. So, you know... I don't know. Uh, you guys let me know in the comment section below how you feel about Advanced Warfare thus far. You know, I, I like I said before in a previous commentary, I've had a lot of issues with next-gen console and games in, in, in itself. You know, the next-gen console, the Xbox One, I've always been an Xbox user, but I'm pretty sure, I, if I remember correctly, I had the same issues with the Xbox 360. You know, there was a lot of system issues when the system first came out, overheating and all kinds of stuff. This one, of course, not the overheating or anything like that. But the system's slow. Sometimes I have issues, uh, you know, seeing my friends list. The download DLC doesn't work right. It's just there's so many issues with the Xbox One. And I know PlayStation 4 users, you have them too with getting online and the online services and all that stuff. So it's happening on both consoles. One's not necessarily better than the other. And I'm not trying to say PS4 is better than Xbox or Xbox is better than PS4. Personally, I don't care which one's better. I, I like playing video games. I'll I would own both if... You know, I could, but I just stick with the Xbox One as of now. 
But, uh, you know, the games in itself that are coming out for this game are just full of glitches and, you know, there's a lot of lag issues. Speaking of glitches, check this out. So I drop this care package here, waiting for it. You can see it's supposed to land right in front of me as I snipe that guy right there. It lands up on the roof. I go up here. Look, it's gone. It's gone. I'm like, where is it at? It's still on my queue there of score streaks I haven't called in. So I call it in again, and luckily, I end up picking it up. But these are the type of issues that I'm talking about here that gets to me because it's like if that wasn't the case, somebody what if they swore me right now and then they would have took it and it wouldn't have been my fault that I lost my care package. It's just there's glitches in the game that need to be addressed. I don't understand why the developers don't address them right away or at least try to fix them and make the game a more pleasurable experience for its end users. Uh, but we'll see. I, I, this is the first time that we've had a Call of Duty that was meant for the next gen console. So maybe Treyarch will do a lot better of working out the bugs and everything like that. We'll have to wait and see. I'm um, looking forward to Treyarch's game. Again, I don't mind Advanced Warfare, but it took the crown as my least favorite COD title to date. That's just my personal opinion, guys. But I'm still going to be playing it. It's not like I hate the game, because I definitely don't hate it. Thanks for everything, guys. I'm out.